Time Olympic gold medalist Simone Biles is bringing back her post-Olympic tour and it'll stop right here in Louisville over the summer right after the Olympic Games in Paris. It's called the Gold Over America Tour. Olympic gymnastics champion Simone Biles is coming here to Indianapolis this fall. Tonight, the Bye. world's most decorated gymnast Simone Biles leaping into action live at Heritage Bank Arena this fall. So her Gold Over America Tour is coming to Cincinnati on November 2nd. Yes, as you all know, Simone Biles is upcoming Gold Over America Tour, a nod to her greatest of all time moniker, is all over the news and is set for 30 cities across the U.S. The show features a group of star gymnasts performing high energy choreography and stunts. Tickets start at $35, go all the way up to $150. Fans have a lot to look forward to, what with the Paris Olympics and Simone's tour soon after. Following the success of the 2021 tour, the 2024 tour set to happen on September 17th following the international competition in Paris is an exhilarating display of jaw-dropping athleticism and high-energy choreography with an inspirational message of hope, strength, resilience, and determination. Led by Biles, the most decorated gymnast of all time, the Athleta Presents Gold Over America Tour, or GOAT, its sublime acronym, will have audiences on the edge of their seats with every tumble, twist, and gravity-defying trick. The performance is expected to last 110 minutes, including intermission. From the world stage to the GOAT stage, this incredible journey continues, and I can't wait for fans to see what we have in store this year, says Biles. I love creating unforgettable memories for our audiences every night on tour. What makes this different from other post-Olympics gymnastics tours? Yeah, it's definitely one of a kind. It's more of a pop show concert uh, mixed in with gymnastics. There's a lot of dancing. We have some of the best from around the whole entire world here performing in the show, and I think that's what makes it so special and different. Like before, the pop concert style spectacle will showcase the athletic brilliance and championship journeys of Biles herself along with other cast members. The creative team for the tour includes director Mark Swanee Swanhart and associate director Luann Madorma, along with world-renowned gymnastics coach Valerie Miss Val Condos Field, who serves as a supervising choreographer for the tour. Swanhart said, We've put together an all-new show unlike anything that's been staged before with gymnastics. Unsurprisingly, he, too, is in awe of the most decorated gymnast, as he shared, Simone is one of the best collaborative partners I've ever worked with. USA Gymnastics President and CEO Li Li Lung also sees the event as an inspiration to many. The Gold Over America Tour enables fans to see some of the world's best gymnasts in a celebratory, non-competitive environment, she said. Having the tour at the end of one of the biggest years ever for the sport provides a great opportunity for athletes and fans alike. Biles' long-term apparel partner, Athleta, returns as the title sponsor supporting the brand's Find Your Movement rally cry and mission to build confidence, strength, and belonging through movement. Gold sponsors include Spieth and GK, a global leader in gymnastics equipment with over 190 years of tradition and the largest gymnastics apparel brand in the world, respectively. Likewise, the sponsors represent a commitment to excellence and innovation and reflect the tour's dedication to empowering athletes and fans alike. As earlier mentioned, the Athleta Presents Gold Over America Tour will visit 30 U.S. arenas this fall, including stops in Los Angeles, Chicago, and Boston. Biles, who will be joined by a number of stars from the gymnastics world, will showcase their high-flying skills throughout the country as part of the Gold Over America Tour. So far, the list of cast members includes Biles, obviously, Fred Richard, Jade Carey and Jordan Childs, Caitlin Ohashi, Peng Peng Lee, Shalisi Jones, Melanie Johanna de Jesus dos Santos, Kayla DeCello, Evita Griskenas, Casimir Schmidt, and more. Unlike the 2021 tour, however, this year's post-Olympic tour has a twist. This time, the guys are invited too. The decision to include men on the 30-city tour that starts in Southern California on September 17th and ends in Detroit on November 3rd was intentional. Biles, who will try to build on her haul of seven Olympic medals this summer in Paris, wanted to broaden the show. I think the first time we were very driven on female forward cast and having the beauty in that and knowing that we can put on a show without the guys and just having the girls being in their feminine power and being beautiful and being the stars. 
file said. But this time around, we're like, okay, that worked, but let's do it a little bit differently. Let's invite the men. That includes Fred Richard, who became the first American man to medal in the all-around at the World Championship since 2010, when he earned bronze in Belgium last fall. Richard, who is eyeing, making his first Olympic team, has made it his mission to help make men's gymnastics relevant in a country where the women have commanded much of the attention, and much of the international success, for decades. According to him, the goal is to get as many eyes on men's gymnastics side as possible and have more people understand who we are and what we do. The dream is that someone walks down the street one day and someone says, name a male gymnast, and they actually name a male gymnast. In order to attain this, working with Biles for some time might help. Richard called Biles a role model. She sees in Richard someone who has a unique ability to connect with an audience. When asked if this would be her last time as an active participant in the tour, Simone only laughed. Seeing that she just celebrated her first anniversary with Chicago Bears safety Jonathan Owens, she said that she's not thinking much long term beyond 2024. I would never say never, and I think that would be amazing to do after every Olympic cycle, she said. I think that would be a beautiful thing, but right now I can't tell you yes or no. Like, no definitive answers because I don't know what life will look like in the next few years to come. Before the tour, though, we can all look forward to her Paris performance, if she will even be there. As most of you know, she is yet to compete this year, but is set to kick off her 2024 Olympic gymnastics season on May 17th and 18th at the U.S. Classic in Hartford, Connecticut, with hopes to secure a spot in the upcoming Paris Olympics, according to Olympics.com. The U.S. women's Olympic gymnastics team will be announced on June 30th in Minneapolis, Minnesota, following the U.S. championships from May 30th to June 2nd in Fort Worth, Texas. Then, the 2024 Olympic Games in Paris are slated for July 26th to August 11th. It's nothing new, but a lot of eyes are following her progress this season, especially with the Summer Olympics fast approaching. After what happened at the Tokyo Olympics, people are wondering if Simone is well enough to compete this time. Well, there seems to be no reason to worry if her coach has anything to say about it. According to Simone's coach, Cecile Landi, shared through the All Things Gymnastics podcast, there's a notable shift in the gymnast approach to the Olympics this time around. In a recent interview hosted by Brittany Bueller, Cecile Landi, a 1996 Olympian for France and esteemed coach at the World Championship Center in Texas since 2017, shed light on Simone Biles' approach to the upcoming Olympics. When asked about Biles' preparation compared to previous cycles, the coach shared, Really well. She's really in tune with how she's feeling mentally and physically, speaking up about it, keeping up with her therapist weekly. She knows it's important. We've scheduled a lot of appointments until the end and making sure she has that routine going because she knows she needs it. It's an escape and it's also what helps her continue what she's doing. Cecile Landi also talked about the ever-expanding arsenal of signature moves that Biles will have for the 2024 season. After performing the iconic Yurichenko double pike in 2023, Biles gained recognition for it as her fifth named move fresh off a long hiatus. Discussing Biles' options, Cecile said, Right now she's doing more of the double pike. I think she just wants to do it without Lauren standing on her by the side. She's ready for it. Landi also added, The Amara is easy for her, and it's back, and then the Chang and the, the bars one I can't remember, she's practiced that too. So, you know, she has a couple options. Well, isn't that good to know? Watch this to see who else is training hard for Paris.